On a late November day on campus, computing sciences students were enjoying a class referred to as interdisciplinary game principles. Wow! Cool. We're trying to work out the bugs to see if the numbers are working. One important aspect of the computer gaming certificate program offered at the University of Alberta is for students to create and refine board games, learning the fundamentals. <laughs> So we started actually with a particular course that had developed in the Computing Science Department called the Computers and Games course, where we wanted to create a multidisciplinary course. So although it was in the Computer Science Department, we wanted to have many different disciplines come together and start to look at what does it take to actually make a game. The course attracts up to 150 applicants for just 30 openings, learning digital applications, writing, and artistry. After all, there's a huge video game industry out there. It used to be lots of big players like we know of in Edmonton Bioware who would employ the vast majority of people. There's now an independent game movement where there's a lot of smaller companies uh, and people can just go out on their own and make games and actually make large amounts of money being a small two-person shop in their garage. <laughs> I'm not, hey, I want to try yeah. these things. This is basically a board games class. Like this, we don't do digital in this class. Right. And so once you've, once you've gotten that idea of this spark of like how to make something fun, which is like I said, not something that there's good rules for. I think the odds of making a good digital game are a lot higher. <laughs> you have to play games in your spare time. Um, they're kind of like the required reading of the course. Um, so, I mean, you're playing games as you're developing them. So the goal of our game is to try to conquer as much territory. So you're playing as a different element, fire, sky, land, and water. Mine is currently called World's Divide. Um, it's kind of like a game uh, land takeover kind of sort of deal, almost like Risk, um, but a little bit different. You know, the first week of class, you come in and immediately Mike says, like, okay, go build a game. You're a game designer. Like, try and build a game. And, uh, and it's pretty easy to crash and burn because you don't know what you're doing. And then the second game you learn a little more, and then in the third game, uh, I don't know, we felt quite confident and actually quite enjoyed building the third game. And eventually the principles learned here can lead to a role in digital industries. Even if you're in marketing, we've already seen how gamification is being talked about a lot to make how do we get people more engaged as customers, and game-like principles are having a play in that as well, too. To get into the industry, you need to be an excellent writer, you need to be an excellent uh, computer scientist, but you need to have other skills on top of that, and that's what we want to try to create. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy. <laughs>